Man, Utah's got it all. The only other rival to this sucker is Edgewood, okay? <laughs> okay. So this thing is said to be roughly the size of the entire state of Rhode Island, okay? What? Basically, this is like an entire underground city. Much of this facility is literally underground. Mm. Now, you hear a lot of people talk about underground structures in Utah, and I will say straight up, I am very skeptical of yeah. a lot of claims with underground structures. Not in the case of you call. You're not a Dolce head. No, I'm not. But I will say this, though. I did not for years believe the claims about there being tunnels underneath the uh, the Great Salt Lake Temple right in downtown SLC until I stood there with my on my own two feet when they, I think they actually still might be doing construction uh, on the underground uh, part of the temple after the earthquake they had there in 2019. The whole thing is dug up. I looked down there with my own two eyes, and there are massive tunnels there. There was a bulldozer literally parked next to one of these tunnels wow. that I took a picture of. It's up on my website, Visa, that you can look at right now. And this dozer oh could have easily gone through that tunnel, okay? So they're so, massive. Yeah, this thing is massive. I would be very... If they try to claim that this is like for sewage or something like that, I'm going to have to say bullshit on that, mm, frankly. Yeah. I, I don't Giant think you need... Giant mole people. <laughs> Again, I'm not a big fan of a lot of this underground I know, I know. facility talk and what have you in the mole, in, you know, subterranean species. But yeah, in the SLC area, man, that dog will hunt, in my opinion. <laughs> so I've, I've met a few motherfuckers that I would definitely qualify as underground creatures, um, but they became <laughs> that through their lives in the overworld mm. rather than having been spawned blind with sickly pale skin, golem like in the underground.